Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 19, and we're going to be looking at gl.triangles today. So, yet another simple one, building on the last several episodes. Let's dig right in. So, nothing new is going on until we hit to the draw a line section where we are now going to be using gl.triangles in the API. We have our vertices here as normal. We have a 6 in a 6, so you can see each of these are the pairs. And when we have this drawn out, you'll see here's the first triangle that first uses the first three, and here's the second triangle that uses the second three. And everything else is pretty standard. Similar to before, we can put this in 3D space and pass in the third, uh, the Z here. And if we do that, if we don't update the vertex attribute pointer as before, if we reload this, it's going to end up looking like that because it's not using the proper things. So here we're going to want to go ahead and change this to 3 and then refresh that and it's going to look identical to before. So it's pretty simple. Play with it, go around with it. Obviously if we had some, said something like 7 here, we would hit the out of bounds uh, like we had before. If we had 5, we'd only show uh, 2, or excuse me, 1 triangle. See that one's not complete. So um, play around with it, have fun. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe, please like the video, and make sure to sign up for our newsletter on programmingtil.com. Thank you.